Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Today I'm going to be going over the best music player on Google. And it's very simple, you can use it on any tablet or any phone because it's Google Music. This is the one I still recommend over every single music player. I know you guys have your favorites. I really love Google Music and it's very simple why. Google Music allows you to do one very awesome thing. It allows you to stream every single song you have from your computer straight to your tablet or uh, straight to your um, phone or to any computer. You can actually go onto any computer and play your music, uh, which is really cool. You can even download it on their computer, which is even more cool. You know, like, oh, dude, I have, I have to show you this one song, you know, and you can play that for them. So here's the thing why is Google Music so good? Well, for one, uh, it automatically takes every song you have from your computer. Let me pull up the website so you can see it. And the website is music.google.com, um, or at least that was the website. I know they kind of changed it to play.google.com uh, uh, slash music, as you see right up here. Just make sure you guys can see that. And now I'm just going to request the desktop site so you can see how to look on your computer. So on your computer, this is what will come up when you first get to this. And you actually have this already. You just haven't used it yet. Um, but you have access to it if you have a Gmail account. So if you have a Gmail account, you have access to this. So um, what Google Music really is, is it allows you to be able to, like I said, have every song from iTunes, Windows, uh, Windows Media Player, or just folders. Say if you downloaded all your songs from old CDs, you can take every single one of them and upload it to Google Music. So you will download uh, Music Manager, and then it just syncs up everything you have. So that means every time you download, say, a new song from iTunes or from Amazon MP3 and download it to your computer, once it's on your computer, it'll automatically send it to Google Music. So you never have to change your playlist because it'll take every playlist as well, not just the songs. Everything will seamlessly connect to it. And you get to load up to 20,000 songs completely free. It costs you nothing. So once you have all of them on your devices, the other cool thing you can do, one thing I love, the carousel effect. Love, love, love the carousel effect. So uh, once you have the songs, though, um, you can go to your playlist, say, and say uh, I listen to, you know, music in my car, right? This is about 200 and something songs, I believe, um, if memory serves you correct. And what I can do is actually do something really cool. I can actually make it available offline, which means I do not need to have internet to then play this. I just download it to my tablet or to my phone once, and once I do it, I pin it to my device. And then what it does is it automatically stores it on my device. I actually didn't. So now, right now, since I clicked that, it is saving, it is making this music available offline. So right now it's making all of my songs. Oops, let me zoom out for you guys. Is making all these songs available offline, so do I not? I do not have to have music, uh, internet to play any of this music, which is really cool. Um, again, just one of the reasons I love Google Music, and it has pretty cool features other than that in terms of like how to organize your music and everything like that. Um, from you know settings, you can actually do like uh, basic things like make it higher quality, so that it's 320. Um, for those of you who really know music and the details of it, you can make it a better quality, basically. So yeah, um, it's really good overall. I really enjoy it, and I still recommend it more than any other music player on Google. Um, or on Android, in general. So, if you guys have any questions on Google Music, or um, ran into any trouble with it, definitely feel free to ask. Once again, this has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy.